Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl in your face when you're sleeping. With so many fantastic TV shows out there, it's hard to keep up with everything. When critics discuss the golden age of television, we immediately think of shows like The Sopranos, The Wire, Mad Men, and Breaking Bad. But with the constant introduction of new shows, some high-quality shows end up under the radar. So in this video, we'll be looking at the top 10 underrated TV shows to binge watch. Number 1 is one of the best sitcoms of all time, so stay tuned for that. Number 10. The Leftovers If you're a fan of humans just vanishing in thin air one day, this is the show to watch. HBO's breathtaking The Leftovers is one of the toughest shows when it comes to critiquing. It's like trying to hold water. You can convey the basic idea and try and explain why it's so good, but there's something that slips through. It is a show that literally thrives on the art of the unexpected. The show, which was adapted by Lost alum Damon Lindelof, imagines a world where 2% of the population has mysteriously vanished. After this devastating event, the show focuses on the confusing, unsettling, and frightening aftermath of an event that has absolutely no explanation. The first season wasn't that highly rated because people watchers didn't know what was happening and what to expect, but that's what makes the show so good. The show's second and third seasons were very highly rated. Viewed by many critics as one of the best series of all time, the show kept a low profile while it was on TV, and that's what makes it so underrated. If you're a fan of all things unexpected, then this is your show. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, Atypical. Not many shows focus on the story around some disorders or diseases in the main characters, and the ones that do usually aren't that good. That's where Atypical comes in. It's a dramedy all about Sam Gardner, an 18-year-old on the autism spectrum. Being in his final year of high school, he decides to face his struggles head on. This includes finding a new girlfriend, his family, who have problems of their own, are left to deal with the consequences. I know, you must be thinking that the show is insensitive and stereotypical, and that's what most people assumed before watching. However, everything changes when you actually tune in. To showcase the actual state of autism and its effects on humans, the show creators have used real-life writers with autism. That is something completely new in the industry, and it worked. The show is created by Robia Rashid, who was also an executive producer on How I Met Your Mother. The show has managed to educate an audience on autism in a light-hearted manner. With the addictive episodes only lasting 30 minutes each, the show is an entertaining binge that won't require commitment. Atypical is on its third season, with the fourth and final season to air in 2021. Number 8. Ozark Netflix is home to a number of autocomplete shows. Ozark was one such show designed to appear whenever anyone got as far as writing Breaking Bad after Vince Gillian's New Mexico opus wrapped up. And before Better Call Saul hit its latter-day stride, Ozark filled a vacuum for serialized drug drama. Like Breaking Bad, this is a story about a man whose emasculation becomes unbearable. Marty is a person who has so little impact on his small life that he snaps. In both cases, there's an external force that acts as a catalyst. In Walt's case, a cancer diagnosis. In Marty's, a cartel ultimatum. Where Walt weaponizes chemistry to build a meth empire, Marty uses his money-washing math to make himself crucial to the cartel. Netflix really isn't screwing around with Ozark, and now after three seasons, it has started to gain the deserved attention of the masses. The season three finale has left the fans in a state of confusion, and now they're eagerly waiting for the upcoming season to bring a whole lot of twists in 2021. Number 7. Good Girls Three unassuming housewives team up with a violent street gang to make a little extra cash. What's in it for you? 20% cut at the profit. What better TV show premise could you ask for? Good Girls is the often hilarious, always thrilling show, which has also been dubbed the Breaking Bad meets Thelma and Louise. The three lead actresses are fun and have great chemistry together as they navigate a sometimes fast-paced show and other times a family drama. And that may be the only issue with a show, it doesn't exactly pick a lane. However, if, like me, you don't mind a little Detroit housewife drama mixed in with your thrilling scenes, you'll have a great time. Number 6. 
The Umbrella Academy An eccentric billionaire, a freakishly strong character who is ashamed of his strength, a Captain America-esque leader, an old mentor in the form of a wise-talking monkey. You guessed it, The Umbrella Academy is all about superheroes. One fateful day in 1989, many women across the globe gave birth at the same time, but at the start of that day, none of them were pregnant. The eccentric billionaire adopts a number of these children to form the Umbrella Academy, which is very similar to X-Men and the Avengers. Except because they're all kinds of related, this show is about their family dynamic as much as it is about their superpowers. The Umbrella Academy is an entertaining story of superpowers that is rarely original but always enjoyable. Ellen Page plays one of the kids, and we all know how much of a joy she is to watch. Number 5. Cobra Kai if there is one show you need to watch, it's Cobra Kai. It's a sequel series to the Karate Kid movies and takes place 30 years later when both Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence have kids of their own. After years of partying hard and nearly throwing his life away, Johnny decides to reopen the Cobra Kai Karate Dojo and recruits his own band of misfits in hopes of turning them into badasses. The series starts by telling us Johnny's side of the story, a story in which Daniel LaRusso is the real villain. It's such an interesting take on these iconic characters that you can't help but get hooked within the first few minutes. This series is truly one of the most intense shows I've ever seen, and I mean that in the best way possible. The fights are wildly complex, and the characters are all underdogs you can't help but love. And of course, there's a spicy love triangle thrown in there too. Number 4. Dairy Girls If you're looking for a funny yet original sitcom, then look no further than Dairy Girls. It takes place in 1990s Northern Ireland where civil unrest reigns and news of bombings is regular. This is a cause for concern for a lot of people, but for one group of teenage girls, life continues as usual. Making fun of the first boy at their all-girls school and being embarrassed by crushes are unshakable priorities. This show catches the lives of the locals the best way possible. Dairy Girls might have been a good show with just the right 90s nostalgia and the political undertone, but the sharp and hilarious writing elevates it to greatness. It's one of the best sitcoms ever made, and that's not me saying it, but the industry and critics. Watch out for Sister Michael, she's hilarious. Number 3. Deadwood Every argument against this show's greatness is just wrong. Deadwood only ran for three seasons on the HBO network between 2004 and 2006, but soon became a cult classic. The fact that it was axed so early probably added to the mythical status of the show, but there was no doubt that it was one of the most entertaining and well-made shows of the era. The show is set in the American western town of Deadwood during the 1870s. It follows the growth of the town over the years and is based on real-life events and characters, including Seth Bullock and Al Swearingen, played by Timothy Oliphant and Ian McShane. Other historical figures who appear include Wyatt Earp, Wild Bill Hickok, and Calamity Jane. The show is everything Peaky Blinders pretend to be, and much more. The ultimate legacy of the show came in 2019, when the long-awaited Deadwood film project was finally made and released and gave the show a much-demanded conclusion. It's a must-watch for history fans as it captures 19th century America like nothing else. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. 13 Reasons Why Game of Thrones Even though you might disagree, both of these shows were highly rated by the critics and by the fans in the starting season. The last seasons of both shows ruined the legacy, but to many, Game of Thrones is still one of the best TV shows ever. 13 Reasons Why was also able to win the hearts of millions and its highly rated and controversial first season. Number 1. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia At the top of this list, we have the underrated and one of the best sitcoms of all time. It all started in 2005, when It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia shot its pilot on a shoestring budget, only to keep going until it tied with Ozzie and Harriet to become one of the longest-running live-action comedy series in history. The whole thing feels as if Seinfeld was darker and far more reckless, letting its characters commit every imaginable sin while still somehow remaining likable. You might think this show is anything but underrated, but it's important to remember that throughout its 14 seasons, it has never won or been nominated for any major award. 
Yes, the show is dark, upsetting, and downright gross most of the time, but the sharp scripts and pitch-perfect performances rival any other acclaimed comedy show. This is definitely the most underrated show ever. Which one of these TV series have you watched? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.